The internet is a virtual library containing a near limitless amount of information. Although it contains a tremendous amount of data, you have to ask yourself how credible what you're reading might be. Anyone can publish on the internet, and there's no way of regulating content. The sites are not monitored, edited, regulated, or approved. Therefore, some thought should be given to the validity of the information you find. To assess the reliability of information, you should start with these two questions. Why should I believe the source? And how does the source know the information? So, let's take a look at how you might evaluate content for credibility. Start by taking a look at the author's educational background, publications, and responsibility she or he has for the information. To do this, you must first find the author. This may be obvious, or it may be found in an About Us or a Contact Us area of the site. If you can't find it easily, red flag. There's probably something suspicious here. You can also ask if the author is well known or has been cited in other publications. If they are relatively well known or often published, they will provide links to their articles or to institutions they have worked for. You might look to see what biographical information is available, like name, address, institutional, organizational information, or position. To find out more information about the author, you might also want to do a web search, just for the author. You should also check for information that may have been gathered as a critique or opposing viewpoint of the site you're looking at. Seeing what others have to say can always be helpful, but remember to question the veracity of those pages as well. Credibility can be qualified by links to and from more established and well-known sites, such as respected news sites like CNN.com. If a well-established website has a link to the information, this is a definite indicator that the content has value. You can easily check this by going to a search engine like Google and typing in the word link colon followed by URL or the address of the website you are interested in. Google will then show you who links to the site. When there isn't an author to research, you can still pay attention to the publisher of a website. Some questions you might ask include, can you contact the webmaster? And is the organization credible as it relates to the information published? If it has a long URL, try to shorten it so you can find out the name of the organization. After finding out the name of an organization, you can then do an internet search to find out more information about the organization's reliability. Here's an example of two sites that might confuse you. One is the actual site of the World Trade Organization. The other one is not and is supported by a group which opposes the WTO. See if you can tell which is which. Okay, need a hint? Let's try the copyright link. Only one has a real copyright. Time is another factor that could be an issue when reviewing data on the internet. Depending on the information being reviewed, one might need to give some consideration to the date the information was published. Where information is time sensitive, check to see if there's a record of the frequency of updates. Perhaps postings to the site are dated, or there is a last updated note at the bottom of the page. You can usually trust information when it is published on websites that are part of the military, education, or the government. The URLs for these sites will have the following endings. .gov for government, .edu for education, and .mil for military. You can also use simple consensus to help confirm the credibility of information. After finding a fact about a particular topic on one site, you might want to do an internet search to see if you can get confirmation from other reputable websites. You might even find competing evidence or things that confirm your original findings. Either way, you'll be sure to have the best information at hand. 
If you want to work more on your online credibility skills, you might want to refer to a site like MediaAwareness.com. They have activities that will help you practice your fact-checking and increase your awareness of what you're looking at. Because the internet is such a vast resource, a healthy dose of skepticism regarding sources can be necessary. It's difficult to trust information if you don't apply some type of evaluation, but some simple credibility checks can make all the difference and open up a huge source of information that spans the globe.